Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So in today's video, I'll show you a tutorial in which you can fix almost all the issues of iOS or iPhones really easily with just one tool. I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Alright guys, before we head into the tutorial, I just wanted to give you a disclaimer that you have to do this at your own risk because every iPhone is different from another, so make sure to make a backup of your iDevice before heading into this tutorial. And with that being said, I also wanted to mention that most of my viewers are not subscribed. In fact, only 4% of the viewers are subscribed. So if you're watching this video, then please go ahead and click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So let's go into the tutorial. So as you can see guys, uh, the app that I will be using is going to be linked in the description box. Now this app is available for both Windows and Mac operation systems. So just go ahead and open that link. It will take you here. The website will give you a short introduction of the features that this application has. It's very good. It works for iPhones and iPads. Also iPod Touch, uh, it shows you a picture or pictures of errors that usual or average user iPhone users face. So if you're running or if you're facing one of these issues, then you are in the right video. So with that being said, uh, all you need to do now is go ahead and click on free download. I'm going to show you how to install this application on both Windows and Mac platforms. I'm going to start with mac obviously i'm going to click on download wait for, wait for the application to be downloaded and then i'm going to go ahead and open the app and i'm going to show you how to install it on mac it's uh, very straightforward you only need to do is drag the application into your application folder and wait for the copying process to be finished and then you will have you will have the application in your app list and you can go ahead and open it from there uh, but on Mac it's a bit different, although the download procedure is almost the same. I'm going to switch over to my Windows version and I'm going to open the same link that's available in the description box. After you open that link, all you need to do is easily go into click on free download. The application will start downloading and once the download is finished, you're going to go ahead and open that installer. Now the application is downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and open the installer. You know, if you've uh, installed previous Windows applications, it's just a setup wizard in which you click on next and then you have the app installed. Make sure to accept the user terms and then the application will start installing and there you go. So once the application is installed on Windows or Mac, all you need to do is easily just launch the application once you click on launch you will be shown with a very user friendly uh, user interface uh, it's very straightforward it's going to install the drivers on your windows version in case you don't have itunes installed so if you have itunes installed on your windows version you will not see this uh, interface but if you don't have itunes installed then the application will automatically go ahead and install the drivers for you so I'm going to wait for the application to install the drivers so that when we connect our iPhone or any iDevice, the application would be able to recognize it. So I'm just going to go ahead and wait for the app to start downloading the drivers and then I'm going to wait for it to install the drivers. Once it's installed, it's going to ask for the application to be restarted. So I'm going to click on restart the program and you should see the application uh, close down and then reopen from scratch. Now once that happens, you will be shown with this uh, very straightforward or user friendly interface and then I'm going to uh, switch back to my Windows. But before I do that, I just want to show you what features or what errors that your iPhone or iDevice faces that can be fixed through this program. So there are many options in which you can choose. Uh, it's going to give you two options, uh, standard repair and deep repair. If the standard repair does not fix your issue, then the deep repair will surely do. But like I said, make sure to do a backup of your iDevice. But in case you're actually facing this issue, I don't think you will be even be able to make a backup. So with that being said, let's go back to my Mac and where this is the OS where I usually do my main tasks. It's the same thing for Windows versions. So just go ahead and follow my steps and I'll show you what you need to do. So uh, I'm going to click on open on my Mac. Uh, you should do the same on your Windows. And um, just to show you that I have an iPhone that's currently facing an issue, I'm going to show you the options. So you're going to see a few options or a list of options that gives you errors. For example, let's say your iPhone is stuck on the Apple logo 
or it's uh, stuck on the black screen of death or any other error that you see in this list as long as it's in the list you can be able to fix that now the application will make your iphone go into dfu mode the dfu mode procedures are listed in the application as well it's different from iphone to iphone so make sure to choose your iphone version and then go ahead and put your iphone into dfu mode now once you do that you're gonna allow the application to install or download the firmware that your iphone is running on or to be more precise it's going to download your latest firmware from apple website so that it can uh, recognize the iphone and fix the error for you so obviously this iphone that i'm holding now it's a seventh generation iphone it's running on ios 13 but it's uh, in recovery mode now the way to fix this using this application is very easy but before i do that i just want to show you guys that this iphone is running in recovery mode and if i restart the iphone it will still boot into recovery mode so I need to fix this using this application and I'll show you how to do that. Now the same goes for other errors that you might face. Let's say you're uh, facing the black uh, screen of death. Uh, obviously this application will fix that for you as well. So I'm going to go ahead and connect the iPhone that I just showed you. The one that's in recovery mode. Uh, I'm going to connect that to my Mac and it should pop in front of you. Now once... Uh, once it shows you that your iPhone has a problem, obviously the application or the system automatically shows you this prompt that says your iPhone has a problem, please restore it or fix it. Now restoring means losing data. Well, this application uh, boots out of recovery mode without even losing data. So I'm going to quickly go ahead through the options. Uh, you need to choose the, uh, the issue that you face and then click on download. It will download the firmware and then you're going to follow these steps that the app tells you and your uh, application will have that error fixed for you. But in uh, this particular example, since we're facing the recovery mode issue, I'm going to go ahead and click on exit recovery mode. Now once I do that, the application will automatically do the job for me. It's just a one click procedure and then my iPhone will be back to normal. Uh, so as you can see, the Apple logo is back again. I'm going to give it a few seconds and it should uh, go to the lock screen. So let's give it a few seconds and wait for the application or for the iPhone to start booting into the normal mode. So as you can see, I think something's happening in the background and uh, in a matter of seconds it yeah as you can see it's now back to lock screen mode or to the normal mode i'm going to type in my password and go uh, to the home screen i'm going to also show you the ios version that i'm running on this iphone so i'm going to go ahead to open the settings and then go to about and now you can see that i'm running on ios 13.7 and it's as easy as that. So if you guys face any other issues or have questions, please comment below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video.